Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and yes, we all do. We all scrape canvases, and it's okay. Um, and normally, what I fall back upon after a failed pour is a swipe, and a swipe usually gets me through. Uh, either a swipe over the paint that is on the canvas that I'm not liking, or I just scrape the canvas and start fresh. But I find swipes to be nearly foolproof, usually very beautiful, and uh, satisfying when I've had a failure. So I don't know what I was thinking here. I've got a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I've flooded part of it with a brown metallic and the other part with a pale blue silver metallic. And I've layered a cup. Now, the first thing that went wrong with this is I decided I would experiment using some milk paint. I had a pretty butter yellow colored milk paint, which I mixed with a bit of Floetrol and water, put it in amongst some layers with some other colors. And the first thing I noticed after I lifted my cup was that I had large chunks of curdled milk paint. Uh, so that's the first thing that happened and I had to dig those out. The second thing was, I don't know why, but I didn't do my usual consideration of colors, contrasts, and hues. Uh, I was experimenting with product and wasn't concentrating. And it, even though this is kind of a pretty palette, for me there's not enough contrast. There's, uh, it's just a little bit blah. And the paints being thick didn't really want to do anything. And I was thinking I was going to do great big schmears over it. And I thought maybe they'd be pretty, but when I look at it now even, uh, there's not enough contrast. I would normally have black in there. But if you, you see that, you know, sort of the brown, the camel, the tan, the gold, they're all of a similar tone. And that doesn't allow for a lot of interesting contrast. So I put my white Amsterdam formula on the back of an offset spatula and I do a great big schmear. And actually it's kind of pretty. This ends up looking a bit like a rock that's been cut open. And that's fine, but again, look at how soft the colors are. It wasn't what I had in my head. And uh, so even though it was pretty, it, it just did not, did not make me happy and uh, you know what that feeling is and the lesson here is you don't have to leave it like that if you don't like it change it swipe over it or scrape it and do something else and you'll see i sort of turned everything around in the end with the swipe it turned out to be a really beautiful color choice and i liked it much better So just to make it look even worse, I decided to throw on some Golden's High Flow uh, Iridescent Pearl. Was looking for dendrites or some sort of a reaction, really didn't get anything. 
and smearing my palette knife through it really didn't help it either. So I'm looking at it and that's it's just not an interesting composition, it's not an interesting painting. Um, I think if, if you're just experimenting for the sake of experimenting, then think of it that way, but I, I didn't like it. So I tilted it, let it run a bit, and then I did scrape it. And I looked around and I had some of the artist loft ready to pour paint sitting there, which I'm not using, and I thought maybe I better get using them. So I got them out, gave them a good shake, and man oh man did I ever have bubbles. So you'll see that I'm torching quite often to get those out of there. But I chose two colors plus the black for the swipe. And I thought, I just want to do something simple on this canvas so it's not a wasted canvas and I can feel better about painting today. So with a damp paper towel, I'm going to pull the black down over this beautiful turquoise green and gold. And you can see the color is absolutely magnificent and I love the contrast with the black. This is making me happier. Simple as it is, there's something about contrast that I'm quite fond of and the other one lacked it. And um, so I'm going to continue to work with this little guy. and. Uh, do my usual swipe and schmear thing. So it's looking okay, but it really does need a little pop of something. And so I know that if I use my Golden's High Flow uh, paints, and that is the Iridescent Pearl, and then I add a little bit of the Iridescent Gold, both High Flow, straight out of the bottle. I know that when I swipe that over anything, it creates some really pretty effects. So I just add a small line of each, uh, torch out the bubbles, damp paper towel again, and with a very light touch, draw it down over top of the previous swipe. First, I watered down a little bit of the ready-to-pour black so that it would swipe a little better. That is, uh, the consistency of the ready-to-pour is a little thicker than I would use for a swipe. So adding a touch of water just made it flow a little better, and here comes the magic. The uh, Golden's High Flow Acrylic creates beautiful cells and some interesting texture to this piece. And I'm, I'm much happier now. I find that if I scrape a canvas, I need to have a success after it. And even though it's a small piece and it's nothing terribly interesting, it just feels better not to leave a failure behind, but to end with something that you love. I do my little schmears uh, both down into the color and I smear some of that gold up into the black, which gives the illusion of depth. Uh, it actually really is pretty. The High Flow uh, by Golden gave me some pretty little cells along that line. And it's just, it's a simple little piece, but look at the drama that black gives you. Um, yeah, so. I'll do some close-ups of it and you'll see the pretty cells and details with that gold and pearl.
I used a little skewer to draw some of the gold up into the black. And I guess I'm done. I, I like this a lot better than the, the sort of the, the one I scraped, which was, it was soft and everything, but there was no contrast. There wasn't any definition. The composition was sort of just not, there was just nothing appealing about it to me. This appeals to me. There's uh, brilliant colors. There's some depth. There's some uh, drama, contrast, and the composition, as simple as it is, is pleasing to me. So, yeah, uh, we all scrape canvases. We all have difficulties. Uh, just do something else. If you don't like your painting, try adding to it. And then if that doesn't work, then just work on something new. Pull out some bright colors. We need cheering up in it right now. So let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Thanks for sticking with me on this one. Uh, I scraped another one the next day. So yeah, you can actually be on a run of pieces that don't work for you. And that's okay. Just uh, keep trying, never give up. Thanks again for coming along. Take care. Bye.